Now, one of the things that clients are interested in, which you do a lot of work for WPP on and for us, is the whole issue of, of, of gender equality. I don't know what you'd like to call it, but uh, women in the workplace. Could you just tell us about the program you do? Because the people we send on that program come back transformed. It's lovely um, to talk about this. And I was just at a meeting where Keith was showing work he's extremely proud of. And the Ogilvy work was amazing. Got the most applause. There was a wonderful piece on Dove. And there was a wonderful piece about the tree that walks through the world and is being savaged. And I was so proud of our work. It, it got by far the most immediate and overwhelming response. I'm having a good time. But the thing that I have the privilege of doing is teaching what we would call executive women. And I think of them as on the threshold of leadership. And I want these women shoved across that threshold into positions of great influence. And I really try to urge our women to think of influence instead of titles because everyone seems to have a title. But the important thing is to have this ability to influence how things turn out. And you look back on your life and you find that so much more meaningful than the structure and the hierarchy. And um, I have to say that Martin Sorrell pushed me into this uh, in the most unusual way because I was writing a book and he said, how is that book going? And I said, it's a slog. And he said, well, why don't you teach it as you write it? And I said, I don't have any victims. And he said, I'll give you the victims. And from that day, 10 years ago, uh, immediately a woman called me and said, where do you want your people? <laughs> I don't think they wanted to call them victims anymore. And these women since then have been teaching me, I've been teaching them, and they go back into the offices. And uh, someone asked Martin in a meeting we had with another group, and he, I said, what are they like, Martin? He said, um, he paused. He's not often at a loss for words. And he paused and he said, terrifying. And I can't think of anything better. I want us to blow the world open in terms of con conceptions of what women can do. And I think if, if I had to kind of summarize it, it would be like just activate this, this ferocity and power and bravery that resides in our women. And, and for some reason, we mute that without meaning to. And my next goal, you didn't ask, but my next goal is get the men in the room. So uh, it's not that you know, it's not that our men don't need to be encouraged to to be more maverick, to sometimes be a more outspoken, but it's the way they do it together that is magical. Thank you so much, Charlotte. Thank you so much for joining us.